Outdoor scenes are highly dynamic, with ever-changing elements such as temporary structures and traffic flow. Therefore, remotely authoring site-specific outdoor augmented reality experiences involves challenges in capturing and responding to these real-world variations, which can lead to inconsistency of the authored experience. Current tools allow developers to create AR content remotely using pre-captured 3D models of outdoor locations. Niantic Solution provides models with detail but with localized coverage whereas Google Geospatial models provide wide coverage but often lack environmental detail. This can result in experiences that seemingly would integrate with the real world based on the model that was used during development. However, the end user experience may be very different. To better understand the challenges of using these tools, we conducted a formative study with experienced outdoor AR creators. They described their workflow as highly iterative, involving frequent on-site visits to gather feedback that is applied remotely. A major issue was that static 3D models often failed to capture the dynamic nature of real environments. Incomplete geometry, outdated data, and missing details made frequent on-site visits necessary. They also emphasized that these visits were time-consuming and costly, and reported difficulties in documenting on-site observations for later usage by themselves or others in their team. Given the information we gathered, we defined a set of common issues encountered in remotely authored experiences during in situ testing. And based on all we learned, we developed CoCreator, an asymmetric collaborative authoring system combining the flexibility of remote development with the immediate environmental awareness of on-site authoring. During a CoCreator session, the Exigy user is remote while using the Unity editor, while their in situ partner is on-site with the prototype experience installed on a phone, as well as a CoCreator layer with a basic menu. They can communicate via real-time audio and are each represented with a distinct avatar in the shared space. The Exigy user also has a real-time view of the in-situ user's perspective, including the rendered AR experience. 3D cursors projected into world space can be used for referencing and alignment. In-situ cursors show up in green and Exigy cursors show up in blue. Changes made to the scene are instantly reflected. To capture up-to-date environmental context, the in-situ user can use capture tools. 3D snapshots use the device's camera and depth sensor to form point clouds of specific areas, suitable for short-range detailed capture. And coarse 3D meshes allow the in-situ user to capture larger areas, such as streets and buildings, which is especially useful for alignment or to serve as a canvas for annotation. To create these annotations, the in-situ user can draw directly onto surfaces, highlighting specific areas or labels. Labels can be added to provide additional context, for example, to indicate a hazard such as a busy road. Or, for instance, to represent a user path using the AirDraw feature, which is controlled by moving the device through the space. Also shown here is the XHG user's ability to capture RGB frames for additional context capture when necessary. Aside from Unity-based scene editing, XHG users have complete freedom in spawning any objects for prototyping. Real-time communication facilitates this design process, as can be seen in this example, where the placement of a fountain is fine-tuned based on in-situ feedback and additional 3D snapshots. To evaluate the effectiveness of CoCreator and elicit directions for future work, we conducted a within-subjects exploratory user study with 32 participants arranged in pairs. Each pair refined and extended AR prototypes using two different systems, CoCreator, and an asynchronous baseline, which we based on current typical development workflows as we learned about in our formative study. The task consisted of two phases. During phase one, in-situ participants collected feedback based on which ex-situ participants refined the experience. In phase two, participants ideated on extensions of the experience while the ex-situ participants prototyped these ideas. Our results showed that ex situ developers were able to better understand real-world context when using CoCreator, which led to significantly more confidence in the authored experiences. They attributed this to the real-time feedback and verification CoCreator provides. Both X and in situ participants found the synchronous collaboration with CoCreator more engaging, which some stated to stimulate creativity. While we did not find statistical proof to indicate an increase in task load, some participants, particularly those less familiar with AR, felt that managing multiple tasks simultaneously with CoCreator could be overwhelming depending on the scenario. We refer to our paper for more details on our formative and exploratory user study, as well as an in-depth discussion of our findings and recommendations for future work.